Hi friends, this is not as easy as it looks. Trust me. Now we are going to start with what a factorial is. Okay, for the benefit of those that doesn't know, that do not know, okay? So that means that, let me tell you, for example, if you say 3 factorial, this simply means 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. Now, 4 factorial is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So that is actually what factorial stands for. Now, if we want to implement that here, then that means that this question, first of all, let us multiply both sides of this equation by 7 factorial. So we have x factorial divided by 6 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial is equal to 7 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial. Sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's multiply both sides by 6 factorial because the intention is to cancel out this 6 factorial. Sorry about that. So we multiply both sides by 6 factorial. We have multiplied by 6 factorial is equal to 7 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial. Yeah, exactly. Because I want this to cancel each other and we are left with x factorial is equal to 7 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial. Now, remember the explanation I gave to you earlier? So, we have that x factorial then is equal to... Now, 7 factorial should be 7 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1, right? Then, multiplied by 6 factorial should be 6 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1. All right. Now, um, we are trying to compress this or so make it look simpler. So, x factorial is equal to 7 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, 2, and 1. Now, when you look at this, you can see that 4 times 2, we give us 8. 4 times 2, we give us 8, right? So we have 4, or let's just write it 8 already. 4 times 2 is 8. So this same thing as 8, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 1. Okay? Now let us transfer this 8 to this side of the equation. Remember that if this is the first time you are seeing us, please, please click on the subscription button, turn on the notification bell, so I don't miss our amazing videos. Yeah, we upload videos every day, so tune in as your convenient to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So this simply means that x factorial is equal to, we are transferring this 8 to this side. So we have 8 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4. <laughs> Multiply by 3, 2, and 1, okay, multiplied by, so we've shifted this 8 to this side. So we are left with 6, 5, 3, and 1. So 6 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 1. All right, so uh, we have x factorial is equal to oh, 8 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1, bracket. Now, 6 can be expressed as 3 times 2, 3 times 2. So, write this as 3 multiplied by 2 in place of 6, then multiplied by 5, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 1. So, we have x factorial is equal to 8, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, Multiply by 5, multiply by 4, multiply by 3, multiply by 2, multiply by 1, bracket, 3 times to give us 6, okay, sorry, let's leave it like that, let's bring this and this together, 3 times 3 is now you're going to see why, by the time I shift it to this side, okay, so we have 3 times 3 give us 9, multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 1, now I'm going to shift this 9 to the other side of the to this side. So we have x factorial is equal to 8 multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1. Oh, I forgot to write 9 first. So 9 multiplied by 8 and all this, okay? Then what will remain here is 2 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 1. I see what is happening. All right, now x factorial is equal to, so we have 9 multiplied by 8, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, 
multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1, bracket. Now, 2 times 5 is 10, multiplied by 1. So, we continue. I would like you to drop a comment about what you feel about what we are doing in this channel. Do you have any correction you want to give to us? We will highly appreciate that, but please ensure you choose your words right, okay? Don't use the wrong words, don't use uh, in insulting words, just, you understand, just give us your correction using good choice of words or right choice of words. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. Then X factorial is equal to now let's take this to this side if we do that we have 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 then multiplied by 1 now remember that anything multiplied by 1 we still give you the same thing so that means that what we still have here is 10 Multiply by 9, multiply by 8, multiply by 7, multiply by 6, multiply by 5, multiply by 4, multiply by 3, multiply by 2, multiply by 1. This is what we have, okay? Now, can you see with the definition of what a factorial is, this is definitely 10 factorial. So it means that x factorial is equal to 10 factorial. And this simply means that x is equal to 10. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.